yeah hello good good day to everyone and in the last video you have we have learned about how we do the how we use the processing software and what are the function of the software which we, we will be using for seismic data processing and also we have done the static correction which is necessary for the seismic data processing so now we will move into velocity analysis which is which is the necessary part of the seismic data processing so let me open the new project or uh, we, we have already the project in that I have already made the file so you, it is easy for you to understand so we will open the project which is tutorial A in the tutorial project so over here we have already provided the files which will be using for velocity analysis so normally for velocity analysis we need uh, three input which is CVS output velocity analysis, semblance and uh, common offset data. So in the job flow I will show you how we create this type of this three type of data. So here we will open the flow file which I mentioned you before which is S20 velocity analysis flow. So once you double click it will show you the flow how did we use so now we we have the input velocity zone in the velocity zone you can you have to define input data which is your short 20 data and cmp selection zone which is 2d analysis so number of bin which we'll be using is a five and if we talk about how many CMP we can use, so here velocity analysis tutorial line CMP 50, 100, and 150 are used. So I will show you how we select this type, this CMP. You have to right click on velocity zone, and over here you can go data head header selection. So here you can see we have selected three CMP, CMP gather which is 50, 100, and 150. So these three short gather we will be using for velocity analysis. So this flow from velocity zone, export, then mean, FK filter, deconvolution, and this is a filtering techniques. So which will be output and uh, which, which will be followed by the mean, then offset sort. So that will be the output of common offset stack. And then we apply the semblance which is which will be the output of semblance and the third thing is the constant velocity stack which will be followed by cvs flow so these three output will be used for velocity analysis so we have already saved it so we have to just discard so now we move on to the velocity analysis window which can be opened by interactive top menu go to the velocity tool and interactive velocity analysis so as i mentioned we need to get the three input for velocity analysis which is common offset output semblance and cv cvs so how you can select this all three you have to press the shift button and press whatever you want to select after selection you can press ok so you will have the velocity analysis window so over here you we have many options so the first option is velocity analysis plot parameter over here you can you can display three type of because we have input three data set so if you want to see cvs or either short gather then you can either close or on so here you can see two but for the time being we need to see all three so we press ok then again cvs display how many number of panels you want to see in cvs like here we have selected 10 uh, 10 panels so here you can see we can see 10 panel here so you can change either you want to see more or less and how, how you want to see the gather display so display line size is 2 and the red one is the filled one 
this is very typical flow which we can select here it's already standardized so in samplers contour also you can change the line width and the stepping as well so so the second option is is a display current velocity peak so we can open it but we haven't selected any velocity peak so it cannot show so this is a new velocity file if you have the existing velocity you can open using this uh, button and save current velocity how many type of view option you have typical options so this is a velocity pick option so by pressing this one you can start picking the velocity this is zoom in zoom out if you have picked the wrong velocity then you can cut from this option this one is a display uncorrected gather and display corrupted corrected gathers and this one is recalculate and then correct it together so let's start with the picking the velocity so we have selected three cmp so if the cmp number 50 100 and 150 so let's start with the number 50 so we go to the velocity pick options so here you have to see how about your move out is going to be flattened Okay. So over here you can see uh, you have picked the velocity but your gather is not flattened. So you have to display corrected NMO. So now you can see your gathers are flattened and once you the velocity. So this is 50 CMP then you can go for number cmp 100 cmp so this one is actually the velocity picked by cmp 50 so this one is showing like if you you want to use this velocity or you either you want to pick another velocity but for the sake of correctness we have to pick again so here so these are the peak velocity which is which you can pick again you can press the display corrected gathers so this is already this is uncorrected corrected or either what you can choose you can go to the gather option and auto apply NMO so now you don't need to press ok so now you see it's uh, on the fly so your gathers are flattened same thing you can choose if you want you think that you have picked the wrong velocity so then you can select this cut options select the area you can change it in time okay so now you can pick it again so you see your NMO is your move out is horizontal so that's the main purpose of velocity picking the second one looks okay the third one also is fine so you can add one more so this one is option to view the current velocity so once you press this one so you will have the velocity window so you can see this is a different display so this is starting from 1800 meter per second to 3395 meter per, per second and you can see this velocity into the graph view so here you have the the red one is rms velocity and the blue one is interval velocity you can choose because we have picked two times so the previous velocity and the next velocity is option so you can close the next velocity so we are required uh, vrms and interval velocity so if you want to see this velocity in the text format you have to display the velocity p so it will show five points per per short per, per cmp so let's say the function cmp 50 we have choose velocity 
this is our time in millisecond and this one oh sorry this one is our time and this one is velocity peak so let's say 93 millisecond we have 2020 velocity internal velocity so and so on and also another option here is uh, 3d view so you can see your velocity in 3d window you can move it and see which place is your velocity is appearing and how does it change with the depth uh, another thing what you can do you can tile vertically so you can close this one then again you can tile vertically so here you can uh, see live view of live update of your velocity so let's say I let me delete let me close this CVS so this is not required for the time being so close it so we have the semblance and gather data so let me cut this velocity here on 150 CMP now I go to the and here we can update the velocity file so here you see the velocity is changing and also if I can cut this 50 CMP and go to update velocity so you see the CMP which is 50 and and we have closed 150 so 150 is very it's on the end here so it's not affected but you see here it's affected now if we pick again our velocity so it will show you some result so here is velocity is peak so our gathers are corrected so after you have done the velocity analysis and close this window and maximize this one so now you can if you see you have pick all the velocity so velocity is correct so now you can save to save this velocity now we can save this velocity by using this command so you can close this one save current velocity file so it will ask where do you want to save so you can give the location and if you say velocity velocity analysis and your name save it then close this window we have close yes close so now reopen the project which is tutorial A so now we have to use another job flow we can def either you can define a new flow or we already have provided you so you can open the flow which is s20 blue stack so over here you can see input is your 20 short line with the scale fk filter deconvolution data then in nmo correction you have to give your velocity data so you have to give your file which you have used velocity analysis by your name say ok then you have to static correction which is applied previously cmp stack this is the low cut and high cut filter so which is let it go 10 to 15 and 15 so we have the total frequency which will be in the data is from 15 to 55 the other will be cut off then output is brute reflection static plus fx prediction so once you go 
execute this so you will get the this file which we already have generated so let me show you root reflection static f period so we can view this file so now your gathers are flattened and you can see what type of features is in the subsurface so here is a display option you can apply so this one is a straight reflection these are many reflectors of the horizon and on the top we have little bit noisy data so after doing this velocity analysis and uh, root stack so this is the final step of this seismic uh, processing then after that this velocity and the root stack will be input for seismic migration that is a post stack migration so everyone maybe can do this velocity analysis and static correction and use this data and save your file with your name and later on we can check this exercise by each and every student okay thank you so much one of the additional thing i want to mention that i will be providing three lab tutorials or you can call it lab manuals which is introduction to software which is already presented but this file will help you how we use the data how we use the software and what are the flows and data which is which is provided in the in the folder and the second lab manual is the static correction which i already explained in the first second lecture so but this lab manual will help you how we can do the static correction by step by step and the third manual which is interactive velocity analysis analysis in this we have defined each and every flow in detail and how we do the velocity analysis which already explained in this one so this is a file which can help you in doing and also each and every toolbar or the button is explained here and also some of the explanation why we use the velocity analysis and what type of velocity analysis we have and what is the use of this velocity okay i think that's all from my side then now the next class will be for preparing the reports and writing your reports or whatever Okay, thank you so much.